It's the end of another hard day for the boys, or not quite. Each evening, there's still another job to do ready for the morning. A small item of loading four lorries with 30 tons of cement. on his metal. He has the evening meal to cook. What's more, he does it on top of his share of the loading. Cement can wear your fingers to the bone, hence the rubber gloves, but still it rots your overalls and boots. The proof of any pudding is in the eating. And good driver though Bert may be, he wouldn't have lasted long as a cook if he hadn't dished out the goods. Which he did, so long as you agreed that custard was his masterpiece. Merton the porter does his evening round. During the two years that the boys were there, life didn't end at that. In fact, it was just beginning. There's not much distraction at Kalin of an evening, so the secret is to make a ceremony of what's left to you. Not exactly dressing for dinner, but it looks precious like it. A hard day's work under difficult conditions and now good food and good companionship. Well, life could offer worse. The amount of steak those boys consumed is nobody's business. Good big chunks, roughly three quarters of a pound per man. <laughs> it's a wonder they weren't ashamed to look a cattle beastie in the face. better than a little recreation. Especially if there's a willing victim who never seems to learn the strength of the opposition. Clear the way, we have a visitor. We may be living in the wilds, but we know how to treat a guest. This is one time when road and rail seem in deadly opposition. But believe me, in all ways that matter, road and rail together did a nice little job way up there at Kalin. <laughs> 